Hi guys and welcome to the Aging Games. If you clicked on this video, you're probably interested in losing some weight before summer, getting in better shape and feeling better about yourself. And this is why I did this video for you. Just to give you a bit of background, I'm on day four of my water fast currently. And what kind of inspired the water fast and also this video, this photo popped up of me from three years ago on Facebook, in my Facebook memories. And as you can see, my abs were looking really trim and my legs were looking good. I just looked really great and I felt really great at that time. And looking back at that, I realized I don't really look like that at the moment and I definitely don't feel like that. And why is that? So you guys probably know that I follow a keto, keto carnivore type of diet most of the time and I try to be good most of the time. Now the last few months have been really challenging. I had my parents here for a couple of months so we did a lot of eating out, going to restaurants and my mom cooking and every time I tell her not to bring me any cakes and sweets, the more I tell her not to do that, the more she bakes them and brings them. So that's always a challenge and you know, I think just the stress of the whole world at the moment has also really gotten to me and you know, dealing with higher food prices, possible food shortages, fuel shortages, war, World War III, all of these things, my mind would always say, well, what if in six months we have no food at all and I've got this little brownie sitting here and I'm going to pass on the brownie like, am I crazy? And then a few months down the road, I'll be sitting here crying because there's no food. So my mind was rationalizing all these things and, um, you know, my eating was a little bit out of control. I take full credit for that, but also I know that it's almost bathing suit season. It's now April. Hopefully the weather, weather will start to improve after we've had like six weeks of nothing but rain. I said, okay, I need to do something. I really need to do something. And it's like every day I decide, okay, I'm going to do a protein sparing modified fast. I start tomorrow. And then tomorrow I wake up and it's like, nah, never mind. I just don't care. And I'm just, you know, that's why I haven't even filmed any videos or anything lately. I've just been at the point, like, I don't care. What's the point? You know, it's all hopeless. I've been really feeling like that. So I haven't really taken control of my health and my diet. This is where that leads you. And then you just feel like crap. So anyway, on Sunday, I got a fever, probably because of the crappy food I've been eating and the stress I've been putting on myself. So I started getting a fever, scratchy throat, and I didn't really have much of an appetite. So I said, okay, well, anytime that you're not feeling well, it's actually a good time to fast. And normally that's why the body shuts down the appetite because if you're fasting while you're not well, while you're sick, then your body can really concentrate on healing you faster rather than spending all its time digesting your food. So, you know, I, I really like to listen to my body and I love fasting and I haven't done like an extended fast for a long time I would say almost a year now I've done some protein um, sparing modified fast and I've done some fat fast but I haven't done an actual water fast a longer one than like 24 hours in probably a year and so I was definitely due for once so I thought okay this is a great opportunity so Sunday I started fasting then by Sunday night my trigeminal neuralgia flared up as well so it's like you know everything happens at once I found some good solutions for that but that's for another video but anyway um, you know I started taking my vitamins vitamins of course and fasting and I was much much better by the next day but I was still happy to continue with the fast and I thought this is really a great great opportunity for me to kind of reset the bad habits that I've been forming the past few months and fasting I find is always really good for that because when you break the fast and I have other videos about fasting how to do it how to break it so please do check those out you can search on my channel but <clears throat> when you break the fast the nice thing is that your body will be craving different foods so you're not going to be reaching for the chocolate or the carbs or the junk food. Your body's going to be clean and also you're going to make a real effort to only put healthy foods into it because you've gone through this period of fasting, which is, you know, not an easy thing to do for most people. So once you've conquered that, then, then you want to keep that momentum going. If you've lost some weight, then you don't want to just, you know, gain it all back with the first meal that you're eating. And that's why what you eat after the fast is actually most, the most important thing, how you break the fast and how you can continue to eat. So this is going to be my plan now. So I'm on day four of the water fast. It's been going really well. It's been like the smoothest, best water fast I've ever done. And I'm not sure why, you know, is it because my body wasn't feeling so well and it was just naturally ready to fast? I've made several attempts to try to fast throughout the year and I was always feeling like really stressed, really hungry, hangry. You know, that's not a good time to fast. If you start fasting and you feel like that, it's not a good time to continue because you'll be ready raising cortisol levels. You don't want those stress hormones out of control. That's not a good situation for fasting or for anything else. And you know, because of the hormones and the changes,
changing hormones for us ladies as we get into perimenopause and menopause we have to be even more careful with the stress hormones with fasting with everything so you know some experts don't even recommend longer water fasts for ladies our age i do enjoy them and i really enjoy the benefits uh, the longest one i've done was 10 days and it really really helped to transform my life in so many ways in healing my thyroid healing a shoulder injury of two years just getting rid of inflammation losing 12 kilos 25 pounds that wasn't just in the 10 days but then after that how i changed my diet completely it's just been life transforming for me and this was four years ago so i'm really hoping this one will also have a big impact on my life and my health so now it's four days i haven't been on the scale the scale is not my friend i haven't actually been on the scale since last year so i just do measurements i take measurements and my measurements are up quite a few centimeters everywhere not a lot but you know three four centimeters on the stomach and you know a couple on the thighs and the arms and that, that's a lot for me i don't like that feeling and it's you know i'm four days and the measurements haven't changed and i'm like what is going on like why am i doing this nothing's happening and then i got my period so you know when it rains it pours life just gives you everything at once okay so I'm gonna keep being patient and still enjoy my fast because like I said it's really going well and I haven't been dizzy and I haven't had any headaches I haven't felt low energy or anything so it's really interesting sleeping has been a bit of a challenge which is very normal when you're fasting as your body keeps trying to wake you up to go hunting and to get some food and you also don't need as much sleep when you're fasting because your body is just not using that much energy for digestion but this time fasting I've been using something and I think this really helps helped i found this honey badger brand a while back i don't know if you guys are familiar with it and this one is performance hydration i use this in the gym so you just put a little scoop of this into your water i just put in my water and I'm into my water bottle and i've been drinking this right through my fast this one is a wild berry flavored there's also different flavors there's a lemon lime that i also really like now this has zero calories and it's um, sweetened with the stevia and monk fruit and zero carbs and it just helps to replenish the electrolytes and to keep the balance in your body. I haven't needed to take any salt or electrolytes or anything else during this fast. I've just been sipping this throughout the day. I think this has helped tremendously with the fasting, which is really interesting. First of all, it's really nice to have some kind of a flavor in your mouth because your mouth just gets kind of gross when you haven't eaten for days. So yeah, you brush your teeth and everything, but you're only drinking water. So it's nice to have like some kind of a flavor, something in your mouth. So you kind of feel like, not that you're eating, but that you're consuming something. So I think this is this has been really great. Um, when I start fasting, I don't really usually make a plan to say, okay, I'm gonna fast for 10 days or for five days, or I don't do that because that's just kind of setting you up for failure. I go one day at a time, I'm gonna fast today, I'm gonna fast today, and then let's see what happens tomorrow. And if tomorrow I'm feeling weak and really hungry and not well, foggy and all that, so then it's time to stop the fast. So I really just listen to my body. So four days right now, definitely would like to go for five and then let's see what happens from there. But then I need a plan. So the plan, the plan, the plan, what do I do? I do need to lose a few kilos or centimeters because I'm not measuring those kilos, ain't those kilos. So I need to lose a few centimeters, get rid of the bloating because you know, whenever I'm eating sweets, whenever I'm eating carbs, I just like blow up, blow it up like crazy everywhere and you know the stomach i don't like it when it's when it's all flabby you know and i'm in the gym guys all the time i'm in the gym and i'm walking and i'm very active so you know abs are made in the kitchen and that's i can't remind you of that often enough so the plan after the fast so i'm gonna break the fast very slowly and gently as always and what i'm gonna try to really focus on i'm gonna listen to you know some of my favorite experts who are also part of my age-defying video program and that's Maria Emmerich and also Dr. Jay Wrigley and both of these people I really respect a lot and they specialize in female hormones cut diets tailored to balancing these hormones and still combating these hormones and these hormonal challenges in either in order to lose weight so I'm going to follow their advice and when I break the fast of course I'm going to do it slowly and gradually but I'm going to really focus on protein. Dr. Wrigley even has this 14 day plan. I was just reading about this where he, he recommends doubling your protein and cutting back fat. So just really focusing on protein. So that's going to be my plan. 
to focus on protein, to eat less fat. I'm going to try to eliminate dairy, which is super hard for me. I've done it many times before, but I'm just like a dairy addict, so it's really hard. But I will reduce my dairy intake. I'm going to try. I see now that I'm, you know, fasting, I'm breathing so much better. So dairy is definitely causing me sinus issues, which is not good. And it's contributing to the inflammation. And because I do suffer from trigeminal neurology, which is a neurological condition, dairy will make any kind of neurological condition worse. So it's gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna stay away from also vegetables, from most vegetables. The most vegetables actually cause a lot of issues for me and they do for a lot of people. I know this goes against conventional wisdom. Everyone will tell you eat your vegetables and your fruit. It's simply not true. And for anyone that uh, suffers from autoimmune or chronic conditions, digestive issues, vegetables can actually cause huge issues. Look into oxalates, look into different kinds of leptins, lift different kinds of things that can cause big, big problems in your digestion. What I decide I'm gonna do, I bought some cucumbers and their cucumbers are pretty neutral. They are for me anyway. They don't cause any bloating or digestive issues or anything like that. They're you know pretty much like water. But I still feel like I need something with my meat. And usually with my meat, I'll have cheese or some kind of dairy. And that kind of balances it out because you need something on the side. It can't just be a piece of meat. I know a lot of people do that. It was just always difficult for me. And I know lettuce gives me a lot of gas, bloating, diarrhea. Same with broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage all of those things they're also really bad for your thyroid so <clears throat> i'm gonna just do meat and cucumbers so it's gonna be lynn's new cucumber meat diet <laughs> i'll have to write a book about that one so i'm gonna really just focus on that focus on the protein not force the fat just the fat that comes with the meat or the fat that i use for cooking which is you know butter or lard mostly i'll sometimes use extra virgin olive oil i know a lot of the oils are now not available in a lot of the countries they've sold out the vegetable oils which is probably a good thing because those things are absolute crap they just cause inflammation and and they're the biggest contributors to heart disease. Yeah, it's not meat, it's those vegetable oils. To heart disease, to weight gain, to inflammation, to cancer, all of those things. So if you're still consuming vegetable oils like corn, sunflower, any of those oils, please stop. They are really, really bad for you. Go back to what your grandmother used to use, which is lard, you know, lard, bacon grease, butter, tallow, those things are are great they're really great for cooking so this is going to be my experiment i will let you guys know how it goes i'm going to try to make a commitment for at least one month to stick to this so no dairy meat no extra fat no more whipped cream in my coffee oh i could cry right now but i do have my collagen which i put into my coffee collagen creamer also from honey badger i don't have it here but it's chocolate cake flavored. It is so good. So I'm gonna be using that in my coffee. I will skip the whipped cream. Let all the cream in my fridge go bad. Let's say a prayer for all my cream. A moment of silence. <clears throat> I really wanna see how this all pans out, guys. So I'll check back in with you in a month and let you know how my fast went, how my new diet experiment went, and how I will proceed from there. And if you guys want to join me, you know, I know many of you are already in the keto carnivore community and you're already following a strict diet. Maybe you've also fallen off the track like I have. So if anybody wants to join me on this, I would love that. And we could support each other. You can also reach out to me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course, comment below the video. And guys, if you need more support, if you need more help with your hormones, with your diet, going through the changes in menopause or perimenopause, then I really, really recommend that you check out my new video program, the Age Defying Video Program, where I brought together the 12 biggest experts in anti-aging, and they will tell you exactly how to eat, when to eat, how to eat, how to fast. They'll tell you everything, how to nurture your mind, body, and soul during these difficult times. And because exercise is also so important, it's not important for weight loss, but it's really important for maintaining muscle and strong bones and your posture and and just your overall health and also the more muscle you have the more fat you burn at rest so keep that in mind so the video program also includes a full exercise program which i think is really cool because you can just go back to the videos every day and do the videos with us so guys please do check out that video program i have a 50 dollars discount on right now for a limited time and you find all the information below this video guys please wish me luck i am so excited i'm really pumped i'm excited for the first time in months because like i said i have not been motivated I haven't filmed videos. I haven't really done anything. I've just been like, what's the point? So I'm hoping this will kind of change 
my attitude, my mind, my body, and I'm just going to feel better about myself and I'm going to be more motivated to go out there to do stuff, to do more creative work and um, yeah, you know, healthy mind, body and soul, it all has to work together. Thank you guys for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video and I really look forward to hearing you guys too. Let me know what you think about this video. Have a great day.